Hi, my name's uh, Dr. Newton Campbell. I'm the Director of Space Program at the AROSE Consortium. AROSE is the Australian Remote Operations for Space and Earth Consortium. Uh, we are an Australia-wide, industry-led, not-for-profit consortium that focuses on pulling its members together, university researchers, um, industry members, STEM outreach partners, to bolster Australia's capabilities in remote operations such that Australia can be a leader uh, in, re in remote operations for space and on Earth. You know, the remote operations capabilities uh, that, are in, that are in Australia are second to none in, in, in a lot of ways. You know, obviously we have things like mission control and capabilities like that within, within NASA over in the U.S., but the resources sector in particular is quite impressive in Australia. Its ability to control multiple assets at the same time, as well as execute complex operations with those assets, is bar none. And that's why we're so interested in it for space. You know, for the longest time in space, yes, we are able, we have been able to control assets remotely, you know, robots all the way over on Mars, um, but usually it's to do very simple tasks or we give it a command to do a very long autonomous task. Whereas what we've seen, you know, up in up in the Pilbara, in, in the Northern Territories, in Western Australia, you know, we've seen the ability to execute complex operations um, from very far away, from places like Perth. My role as a space director is to facilitate the space strategy. So to come in with my expertise of the of, of the space domain and identify areas where the or, the members of the organization can work together with the space community within Australia, within the Asia Pacific, as well as globally. So my focus for Avalon is getting a sense of the defense ecosystem. You know, inherently in the United States, defense and space have have been tied and linked uh, since day one, and you're going to see a lot of that here in uh, here here in Australia as well. You know, they just opened. Uh, their Defense Space Command, uh, which is about a year old, I believe, as of this conference, which is great. But you know that's going to be inherently linked to the space capabilities that groups, like, that members like the ones in our consortium are building. So identifying what the synergies are with defense companies, existing defense companies, as well as with the core Defense Space Defense the Defense Space Command is really important to us. You know we have had a num we've had a number of meetings with defense. We want to make sure that we understand their issues within a rose because it all feeds into that purpose-driven capability development that we're trying to do for space. Um, you know, there's going to be knowledge and tech transfer that are just inherent to doing to doing space. It's kind of why a lot of uh, a lot of organizations and and and, uh, and our members in particular want to do space. So we want to see what that knowledge and technology transfer is in the defense sector as well. Joining Arose as a member gives you a seat at the table when it comes to space policy, space sustainability general sustainability here on Earth, um, as well as space-grade capability development in Australia. You know, we have, you know, we, we have provided advice to governments. We're actually funded by, uh, you know, the state government in WA. We've had some uh, Australian Space Agency funding, and a lot of it's to drive, um, you know, advising and understanding of what's going on within the industry and within the community. So it, joining a ROSE really gives you a seat at that table, as well as being a part of of the nation's, you know, first big, bigger projects within space. You know, within a rose, we are trying to develop and design missions um, that the consortium, as well as the space ecosystem in Australia, can execute. We have a number of ex-NASA folks within a rose that have that mission experience, um, and what we're doing right now is actively pulling all of our consortium members together with the nuance of all of their organizations, the different business trajectories that each of those organizations are on, and getting a sense of, well, what can we do together? Is it Earth observation? Is it additional moon to Mars initiatives and missions that either we work with NASA on or work with ASA on and propose to ASA? Again, just with that understanding um, of, uh, of our ecosystem within, within the consortium.